How do you do? This is Steven, and I'm back with another photo analysis. This time I'll be analyzing the cover of Ayumi Hamasaki's album, Rainbow. So when I first look at this album cover, I notice that there's a lot of blue. You know, a lot of blue. You know? And that's a bit strange because the album, you know, the album is titled Rainbow, not Blue. But nevertheless, we do have a touch of rainbow, um, thanks to Ayumi Hamasaki's hair in this. So, Ayumi did incorporate the theme at least a little bit in this photo, so I'll give her some credit and let her slide with that. Um, yeah, I noticed that there's some bubbles coming um, from somewhere. So, is Ayumi underwater? And her skin is blue. So, is she under, like, water... Um, is she trying to dye her skin blue, become a new Smurf, you know, Smurf Yumi? Like, I don't know. <clears throat> um, but it is artistic, you know, it does have an artistic flair with it. And Ayumi has a really blank look on her face. I wonder was that intentional or else or she just was, you know, unimaginative. I don't know. Um, but I... Hmm. I would have liked to have seen some a bit more of a, a intense facial expression. But, you know, I'm not quite sure what she's trying to portray with this facial expression. And I think that's the issue. I don't know what, she, you know, message she's trying to get across to us. Hmm. No. And also, I wish that she would not have tilted her head up in the photo. I would have liked to have seen her head, you know, at its normal position instead of slightly tilted up. Um, it kind of, you know, m makes her head look not, it's not out of proportion to her body, but out of proportion, it changes the proportion of her face a little bit when she um, tilts her head up. And I noticed that I think like the outfit that she's wearing, if it's just, if this is really an outfit or not, um, it looks like Ayumi is at least topless. She could be pantsless too. I don't know if she's wearing pants or what. Um, but I do like kind of like the naturalness of this. But I don't understand how this relates to a rainbow. You know, um, this would be more like underwater. You know, like water or liquid or aqua or something like that versus rainbow um, and you know it looks like she's kind of like in the sea if you look at the way that it looks it, look, it looks like the sun is shining on the sea or the ocean and she is in back of the sea or ocean for some reason I don't know it's a bit strange to me um, but it looks nice. It looks very artistic. So I can give Ayumi credit for that. You know. Um, her mouth looks a little tense. She could have loosened up her mouth a little bit. You know? And I wonder why they didn't color her bangs in rainbow colors. I wonder why they left her bangs blue. I don't know. Um... I like the typography, specifically the way that the A looks, and I think that's kind of like signature of Ayumi at this point. Um, I wish I could have seen her name a bit better. Her name is kind of being, you know, brighted out, if that's a word. You know, it's being blocked out by the brightness of um, the white in the photo. So, yeah. Um, I think Ayumi's name should be a bit more visible, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, um, apparently Ayumi is underwater and it looks like she's, like, in some, supposed to be maybe like some type of natural state or something. But, um, yeah. Ayumi's eyes look a bit blank. You know, 
kind of like she's in a daze, perhaps. Or, you know, zoned out or maybe hypnotized. Hmm. Is this supposed to be like, you know, reminiscent of the video Real Me? Where it's kind of like she's being manufactured or not in this not in this case manufactured because it doesn't look like this is like manufactured but maybe being like created perhaps um, let's see I do like the pose um, except for the way that her hands are positioned or you know I think she could have done something else with her hands I don't like that she kind of looks like she has man hands a little bit and I don't really think Ayumi has man hands, but it just looked like it. Um, let's see. And Ayumi, she's giving good neck in this photo. Her neck looks really long in this photo, you know? And I think, really, it might be even a bit too much neck, really. And I think that if she had tilted her head and tilted it in its, put it in its normal position instead of tilting it slightly up, it would have made the, you know, the length of her neck look a little shorter and not so not long to the point where it's a bit odd you know um, and you know I noticed that it's like her arms and her legs are shiny but her upper arms and her shoulders and her decolletage you know it's not shiny so is the shiny part supposed to represent like clothing? I wonder. I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe that part is wet, perhaps. Who knows? Who knows? Um, <clears throat> overall, I think this is a nice artistic photo. I think it misses the theme. It doesn't really interpret the theme as well as it should. Um, Ayumi's rainbow colored hair pretty much saves the day with that. Um, if her hair was blue, like the rest of, like her bangs and the rest of this photo, then I would not have seen rainbow interpreted at all. You know. But overall, I do think this is a nice photo, but um, for me, I think, hmm. I think I would have just liked to have seen Ayumi Hamasaki's face or head tilted in its regular position. And I think that would have helped things, helped things fall into place a bit more. But overall, I do have my opinions about this, but overall, I do think this is a, you know, it's a very artistic photo. It's a photo that'll make you think, you know, you know, and it's a photo that's up in, up for interpretation. I think, and that'll get people to think, and everyone to have their own individual interpretation of this photo, you know. So, there you have it. Feel free to comment. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to give me a thumbs up. You know, thanks a lot for watching my photo analysis. You know? Adios, and goodbye, until the next video.